In this video, we'll be seeing how to implement ads on your application using AdMobs. First of all, you have to come to the documentation URL. I will give you the link on the description. Go to the documentation and scroll down. You can see the dependencies that we have to add to the application. So copy the dependency from here. And here you can see that I have started a new empty project. Go to the Gradle, build Gradle, the second file. And you can add the dependency inside the dependencies. Paste the dependency and you can click on sync now. After adding the dependency, we can go back to the documentation. Scroll down and you can see that we have to add a metadata. So copy this line. So we'll be using this demo app ID that is provided by Google. You can get the app ID by logging into the AdMobs account. So if you are having any doubt, you can check this link. So click this link and you can see how to get the app ID from your account. So follow these steps and you can get the app ID. Okay, so we'll be using this demo app ID and copy this line. And we can go to the manifest. Inside the manifest, we have to go inside the application. And here we can paste the metadata tag. And we can replace this value here. So let's copy the demo app ID and we can provide this on the app. So we have changed the app ID. Okay, now we have to give this metadata here. After that, you can go back to the documentation and you can scroll down and we can see that we have to initialize the class. So copy this and we can go to the activity main Java part. Come here inside the own create function and paste it here. We have to import the class. So click on the red and type alt enter import class import all the classes so we have to import three classes here so we have imported all the classes now then go back to the documentation again now we have completed the basic steps that we have to do while implementing the ads so scroll down and you can see the ad formats so we'll be seeing how to implement the banner ad and the industrial ad okay we can also implement the native ads and also the reward video ads so we'll be seeing how to implement the banner ads and the industrial ads. So let's get started with the banner ad. So click on this button and you can scroll down. So here you can see the ad view. So copy this and we have to paste this inside the XML part. And we have to go to the layouts, activity main XML file, go to the split mode and we can change this text view to ad view that we just copied. You can also change the constraint layout to relative layout. Now you can see the ad view on the bottom. Okay. So we are also having a demo unit ID. So we'll not be changing it. So in order to get your unit ID, you have to go to the AdMob account and you can create one. So it is very simple. If you don't know, you can simply Google it and it is very simple that you can create within few clicks. So paste your ad unit ID here. And you can go to the documentation again. Scroll down and you can see that we have to load the ad. So in order to load the ad, we can copy these lines. So this much. Copy this line. And go to the app. And we can go to the activity main Java part. Here on the next line, we can paste. And we have to add a class before this. So call add view. Okay, so here we are creating an object for ad view and we are initializing the object using the ID that we have given on the XML part. You can see the ID for the ad view here. So this is the ID and we are using that ID on the Java part as well. You can see this. Okay, after that we have to import this class also. So import the class. Okay, and we are creating a request and we are loading the ad here. Okay, that's all. Now, if you try to run this app, you can see the ad will work properly. You can also give the permission for internet inside the manifest. So go to the manifest and on the top, you can give users permission internet. Okay, now we can run the app. You can see the app has launched and we can see the ad is also loading. Okay, you can see the test ad on the bottom. Hope it is visible for you. Okay, so we have implemented the banner ad. Now we can go to the industrial ad. 
So go back to the documentation and you can go back and take the quick start. I will give the link to the documentation on the description and you can scroll down and you can choose the option industry lad. So click on this button and here we can scroll down and you can see how to implement this. Okay. So you simply have to copy this line from here. So copy this much. So this much which is highlighted here. So copy that and you can go to the activity main Java file and we can paste it on the bottom inside the own create function. Okay. We have to import all the classes. So click here and type alt enter import class. You can remove this log if you don't want to keep a log and let's import this class also. Okay. We can remove this log. So we can see that this object is in red. That's because we haven't declared the object. So for that, we have to go to the top and we can create industrial add and then we can call the object name. Okay. That's all. Now this will solve the issue. So you can see it is solved. Okay. And here we can see an error here. That's because we have already created an object. So you can see that here. Okay. So we have done this process while implementing the banner ads. So we'll be removing this. Okay. Let's remove that. And that's all. Now in order to show the ad, we have to call a function show. So for that, you can go back to the documentation and scroll down and you can see the events like on ad clicked and all these events. Okay. So you can use these events if you want to use them. So you can go through that. So scroll down further and you can see this. So copy this, show the ad. Okay. So we have to copy this line and we can paste that inside an on click listener for a button. So we have to create a button for that. So go to the activity main XML part and come here and we can create a button on the top. Give an ID for the button. And we can also give a text. Okay. Now that's it. So go back to the Java part and we can set an on click listener for the button. So go to the bottom inside the on create method itself and we can create an object for the button equal to find view by id r dot id dot then we have to give the id of the button so the id is btn ads then we can give an on click listener for the button so button dot set on click listener new on click listener and inside the on click listener function, we can paste the code that we just copied before. Okay. So we can remove this log or we can simply import the log class. So we can debug the error. Okay. That's it. And you can see this class is in red. So we have to replace the class like main activity because we are inside the main activity dot Java file. Okay. You can see this in red so you can simply ignore that it will go away when we run the app okay so the implementation is done so we can try running the app once more so you can see the app has launched and you can see the banner ad that is the bottom banner ad has loaded now we can try clicking on the button and see if the industrial ad is loading so let's click on the button and we can see the industrial ad is also loading okay let's close the ad we have seen how to implement the bottom banner ad and also an industrial ad using AdMob. So if you have any doubt, leave a comment below and I will respond to them. And if you want to download the source code, you can come to this URL. I will give the link on the description and you can check that and download the source code from here. Hope you understand how to implement AdMobs in your application. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such videos.